We're recording this in two places. <clears throat> if you haven't seen us on this skit, on this interview, my name is Paul Newell, and this is Mike Schmidt. Yes, I'm a yoga instructor, health coach, I'm glad I got that speaker. Right. You did get it right. Good job, man. You practiced. I did. Uh, I'm a yoga teacher, health coach, um, guide, speaker, Mike. I am a qigong teacher and a um, a healer. I do healing work at the Center for Integrative Healing. Heal. 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 Yes. What's up, cuz? All right, so listen, here's the scoop, because we've had some interesting topics. Um, and right off the top of my head, I can't remember what they were specifically. <laughs> the um, one was Seasons of Life. Yeah. The other oh, one yes. was, what is re what's the difference between religious religion and spiritualism? Mm, remember that one? Yes, that was deep. Yeah, that, that was, was deep. good. That was so, good. Um, what's up, Ms. Colton? Yeah, buddy. So listen, so here's the scoop, what we're doing today. What is exercise really? What is exercise really? Um, and Mike, Mike, you're the one that really, when we were talking, like after all these calls, we'll have a time where we're like, okay, hey, let's... Um, debrief. Just debrief, right? What we want to talk about next time? Because we like this combination. I like talking to Mike. I think Mike likes talking to me. Oh, I do <laughs> like talking to you. That's good to confirm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, so the thing that came up was what is exercise really? And as I mentioned, as a pro, I was a pro, I've been a personal trainer and, uh, for a very long time, over 20 years. Um, I'm a yoga instructor for almost 10 years now, and I teach yoga teachers. Mike, Qigong, health professional, um, Reiki, uh, Kashi Records. I mean, you do a lot of things around the energetics and around the body and health and well-being of the body. So when you talk about this topic, what is exercise? What was, what was in your mind? To me, to me, what I wanted to get across was exercise is a controlled stress. Mm -hmm. So when you go to the gym, you're actually putting yourself through a controlled stress with weights or you're, you're trying to stretch um, to get to another level of strength or flexibility. And when people raise their whole bar, which is, which is the concern that I have is that when people go to the gym or when people exercise, they raise parts of the bar. You know, they, they, they strengthen parts of their body and they stretch parts, but what you have to do is raise the whole bar because you need to play underneath the stress, your, your strength level. Because when you accidentally play beyond your strength level, like you lift a couch, or you do something that's above it, that's when you get hurt. So if your exercise is to raise your strength and resistance level so you can play under it, because if it's really low, it's hard to play under it and do anything. You know what I mean? Do you, do you get what I'm saying? I, I do, um, and I want to break it down. Cool. That, just to make sure that I'm hearing you correctly. So what you're saying is basically when, when, it, when it comes to exercise, it's developing an overall um, enhancement of the body and strengthening of the body or stressor of the body. So that but it's in a controlled more. environment. So if, if you're doing yoga, you're, doing, you're, you're, you're pushing yourself a little bit beyond in strength and flexibility and mobility in order to raise that level so you can play under it. And play so, under it means that you're not, um, you're not, you're just raising it because you're under control, strengthening, instead yeah. of having something, some stress come at you and you not be aware of it, and then all of a sudden, like I said, lifting a couch, twisting the wrong way. You know, people are always twisting the wrong way; they hurt themselves. It's because they they went up and over their strength level, but people have strength levels in different areas, and I think our kind of exercise levels it out and kind of goes for what people are looking for, like the core. Like, the core is the main stress, the main line mm -hmm. that you want to bring yourself up to. So if, you, if you're if you up here and you're playing down here, you won't get hurt, but if you go, if you don't have, if you don't raise that level and you're sedentary or you don't, or you have strengths here but you don't have strengths here when you you're okay when you're under this one, but when you hit this one, you get hurt, or you strain, or okay. Do you get what I'm saying? No. But I no. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I'm be, uh, listen, man. Right, like, be real. Yeah, yeah. real. So because like I th I think I do, but like where I'm getting lost is like when you're talking about under. 
So like what, yeah. what one of the things like I I'm, I just want to I want to dive back to just to make sure I have a under, good understanding of what you're saying is basically well, I, I I can remember and I don't know if it was the last conversation after the last thing we had or in another conversation where we talked about when people go to exercise yep. like um, anytime it's like hey I need to lose ten pounds in a uh, five hours okay they'll have this objective where it's like okay I'm gonna freaking beeline for this thing and get it and what you're saying and how I like to approach it is like creating a container within the body of strength flexibility and well-being so that they're that automatically that. yeah they're yeah, automatically, they're automatically the bars up here I, I think you just don't like to be <coughs> underneath anything I don't, I don't. <laughs> you want to be on top so we could always flip it around. Yeah. You as flip above, it around. so below. Yeah, yeah, as yeah, above, yeah, so yeah, below. Yeah. Hermetic principle, baby. <laughs> so listen, this is important because um, from an exercise perspective, one of the things that, I, that I've that i noticed um, working with people, and it's something that especially, because now my clientele are, are older. Like I feel like it's more reflective mm -hmm. of where I am because I mean, I'm in my early 40s and I have clients that are my age and older. And I noticed that as I have to change my body, it's not like, hey, I want to get, I want to get in the gym and be able to bench 315 pounds. My objective is like, listen, I want to be able to live life, move around, be able to play around my kids, have energy throughout the day, be able to, if a friend needs help moving or something, be able to help them move, <clears throat> and not be worried I'm going to hurt my back or something. Right. So you're you're raising the strength level, so in a controlled environment. Mm -hmm. So when you lift or do something, you're you're not going up and over your strength level. You're staying underneath your strength level. And again, I know you don't you no, don't like so, the underneath, but I'm just saying. So if if you, if you if your maximum is 200 pounds to lift, right? Yes. You need to when you get to 198, you're mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. But when you get to 210 you're stressing too much because the strength level is not there. Mm -hmm. In a controlled environment, you might want to do 210 because you're in a controlled environment. You're trying to bring that level up. But you don't, but in, under normal circumstances, you want to make sure that you're playing, you're, you're not lifting more than you should or stressing more than you should or flex or having flexibility issues more than you should. Well, see, that's the I mean, thing. And, and it starts coming down when, talk about your age, my age, 47, you know, we're, I'm, I'm dealing with, uh, or, or I, I work with 60, 70, 80 year olds and it's the stairs and it's, it's, it's balance and it's all sorts of things like that. So it's strengthening your legs and balance and their, their level is starting to come down. So I don't want them to play under their level as their level's coming down. I want them to move their level up, but it's looking at where all those levels are. Is it your knees? Is it your upper See, body? The, I think the levels is throwing me off. Mm -hmm. The levels is throwing me off. It's, um, <clears throat> Like because like especially when you say like levels. So then, so, so what? Do, what do you think? Actually, so it's movement, right? Yeah. So movement. Yeah. Like and and what I find is like it's challenging not just the body but it's also challenging the mind. Oh yeah. Whereas like what I see in the trend that I see in more exercise, there are there are, you know <clears throat> there people go back to the basics all the time. Like you know I'm right now I'm playing with this thing called the steel mace. This is an ancient exercise tool, right? Kettlebell. Things yeah, been out there yeah. for a long time, people. Kettlebells are great. Kettlebells, right? But that's what I mean, the range of motion and the, the amount of balance and strength at the same time that you get along with your mind is amazing in, in oh, that okay. movement. So that's what and, you mean by the levels then? Well, the levels, levels meaning that, that like in kettlebells, there's mm -hmm. many different levels as you're going up. There's many different strengths as you're going up. Like you might have a gap in here. So as you're coming up, if you have a gap where right when your deltoids or right when your shoulder kicks in, your shoulder's weak. So what I'm saying is exercise would be, okay, I notice my shoulder's a little weak. I need to move it, make sure it's flexible, and then build that level up under a controlled thing called exercise. So I'll, I'll consciously do that. That's where the mind comes in. When you're consciously looking at your shoulder and going, you know, I have a... 
I, I need to strengthen my shoulders a little bit. And see, that's and, where that's where I go off. Not not go off, but that's where my mindset starts to differ because I, I see that if there's a weakness in the shoulder and the knee, I I can see like yes, we want to address that. But my thing is it, it exercise. What exercise is really addressing it, addressing what's happening with that knee in relation yep. to the rest of the body. Oh yeah, absolutely. See, I mean, because absolutely. like if there's. If, and but, that's where the for me the mind comes. But not because, working around it, right? No. So no. exercise is working with it. Yes. Okay. It's so then we're it. together. We're it's absolutely it's, it, together. It, it, exactly, because that's how I want to make sure. Like, now we're together, right? I <laughs> yeah. want to make sure we get it, but I want to make sure they get yeah, it too. Yeah. Because, well, if we're if we're out here and we come together, they come with us, right? You know, no? Converges, baby. That's how it works. <laughs> So it's interesting because, like, I, I I love the fact because this is why we have these conversations and we so we were like, listen, we need to put it out here because I find that now there's so many trends um, as far as exercise and the majority of the thing is is like realistically there's exercise promotion it's a billion dollar industry however the majority of people still don't exercise right because right. there's a stigmatism like oh god I gotta but click they figure rates. that if they buy that new video then that will do it for them. Mm, mm, right. I love that right. table a long time ago. Do you remember that table? There was a table that you laid on and it thrashed you around and you just fought it and that no. was the exercise. Oh you my never God. Saw yeah. No, I think like that my two classic. favorite I think my two <laughs> favorite like telemarketing exercise materials, not Ty truly Bo? favorite. Yeah, Tybo Billy Blanks, baby, that's my man. But no, like the things that made me laugh were like the shake weight and the Susan Zan Susan Summers abductor adductor. Uh huh. Because it was like they made it look sexy. Right. And this is the thing too with exercise. But again, that's one thing too. <clears throat> right. That's right. that. That's like if you have abs, you have everything. What about your legs? What about your shoulders? What about your, you know, all the rest of your body? Right. You know. That's the thing. It's not a connected unit. It's, it's not, not a connected unit. unit. The thing that I feel like most people think of is, and in people, if you're doing an exercise program, do something where you're moving and standing up. Okay, you're using compound movements, meaning that you're using multiple joints in your body. Exercise is moving how you're supposed to move. Okay, so that doesn't mean that when you go to the gym, you sit down and do a machine or do an activity because you were sitting down when you drove there and most likely you were sitting down the whole freaking day. I like the whole, see, I think what you do and what I do too, Yes. the exercises that we do, can be done anywhere, anytime, and it doesn't have to be like, okay, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to exercise. You can just go over there and do down, downward dog yeah. or go over there and shake the nine gates or do whatever you want to do. And, and when you know the exercises, you can do them based upon your needs. Like, okay, I just rode in the car for an hour. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm all tight and everything. Right. I need to shake the gates. What? Well, and you need to what? I need your crab practice. reach. Crab reach. Crab reach. Yep. It's an animal flow. Huh. Um, it's an animal flow. It's just make basically hip extension. Cause my hip, my hips get freaking. So tight. now you're knowing your body. You're knowing what to do. And you're you're actually almost never not exercising. You're always exercising. You watch TV. You got to get up and do something because to shake it out mm -hmm. instead of kind of getting up and staying stiff. So, so I think so I think working out all the time and not having to go to the gym and 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 the I, what what I think is cool is that what we do you can do around anything else. Right. You're a runner, do qigong and and yoga around running. You go to the gym, you lift weights, great. But do some yoga and some qigong around it. Right. Doing doing exercises like that around something else is awesome. Yeah, like, something I think well that's rounded. good. Yep. Right. See, so something else like there's a couple things that we'd rather start to wrap up. But there's a uh, one of the things that I remember you mentioned to me, which I think applies to both of what we do, and I think is going to be helpful for people to know that are watching this, that want to know what is exercise really. Um, emotion. Energy in motion. Yep. That's how I view exercise. When you have something like qigong, yoga, body weight movements, martial arts, capoeira, um, karate, um, animal flow, uh, whatever, primal movements, they're moving multiple joints in the body because that creates energy movement in the body. Energy movement in the body helps to reduce dis-ease, helps to move inflammation. So when people are going to exercise, you don't have to be scared of it. You know what exercise can mean? It can mean freaking putting on Michael Jackson off the wall. 
and shaking your ass. Okay? That's what that could mean. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like this. You can you know call I mean? exercise anything you want to call exercise. Right. As long as you're moving the energy. But one of the points I think you're trying to make, too, is that exercise should also bring you into the present moment. The more you exercise and move and stay in the present moment, the, the whole going to the gym and doing something and turning around to somebody and going, Paul, what muscle am I working right now right. is just ridiculous to me. Right. Because it's if I muscle. don't know what I'm doing and I don't know what muscle I'm even working, right. then my attention isn't on the moment. It's really on getting something done. Saying that I can say that I went to the gym, right. I bought my membership, I went to the gym, I moved, but I don't even know what I'm doing. So right. you're talking about conscious movement. Yes. So a question yeah. I have for you, right? Mm -hmm. And actually, you know, it, I, I'm like, let me just talk. So listen, what's your thoughts on mindful movement? Because this is a concept yeah. now. Mindful movement out. is meditation in motion. Okay. So, and you're talking what about What does that even mean? Can you break that Meditation in motion just means that you're aware and you're present. So you're watching your breath. So one of the biggest... One of the most um, important things that we do is breathe. Mm -hmm. You know, hold your breath for a while and you tell me how important it is. It's really, <laughs> it's important, but it's, it's the quality of breath too. It's the, the, the abdominal breathing as opposed to the chest breathing. Right. It's a circular breathing. Um, it's a pump and it, it takes, it, it goes down and it grabs toxins and it pushes them out. Even just breathing, people forget about that. Right. And that's what that's why running is good because it kind of forces it. Right. But you can also do it when you're waiting in line at Starbucks. Right. right. Or when you're driving. You see, this is what I was talking about with exorcise. Yeah. So it was like before before we got on, Michael and I were talking. So you were Michael, talking about exorcisms. Ex no, no, <laughs> you were talking about exorcisms. I was talking about exercise, okay? So listen, one of my things, especially around exercise, is, and I had to write it down because I wasn't going to mess it up. Dr. Mike wrote this. Yeah. Um, so exercise, right? So when I look at, when I think of exercise, I was telling Mike, it's exorcise, like E-X-O-R-C-I-S-E, -E, which means to drive out or attempt to drive out a quote-unquote evil spirit. But in reality, it's bad energy. And when you talk about breathing, breathing scientifically, when we inhale, we're taking nutrients into our bloodstream, into our body. When we exhale, we're releasing wastes, That's a.k.a. Right. bad things. Yep. So we're exorcising this energy and those, those, those toxins out of the body. When people don't exercise, even with the sweat, you're letting out toxins. You're exercising the things in it's your body. It's movement. That, it's any movement. kind of movement. Yes. Joints, True. movement, muscle movement. Yes. All that goody, good, good. Um, and even in Qigong, we talk about um, getting um, the organs to actually move and unadhere to each other. That's something that's not even addressed okay. in most yeah. things. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah. You jolt in order to get bone density. You, you, you jolt in order to remove, you know, pull the skin away from the muscle, the muscle away from the bone. Everything oh, sticks, man. That's snap. why we're that's why we're all creaky. So yeah. so I gotta tell you so wake okay. up in the morning and you're all sticky. So that's true. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give I'm gonna I'm gonna hook my humble my, my guy Mike up. He's really humble but he's got this video out right now with some movements in Qigong. And when you just talked about that breathing and jolting I use I'm gonna Qigong, yeah. Qigong. I'm gonna I use one of your movements where it's like you inhale you're like huh, Yeah. Huh, oh that's huh. monkey leaps from a tree, yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah, yes. like the bellows. Yeah. So I used that for a process on a men's leadership weekend and that junk was a freaking hit because it got men in their bodies, it shook the system, and when you just explain like how it just like it jolts your organs. Jolts the organs, man. There was like an energetic. I felt like even when I do it, and I still do it. Like when in the afternoons, when I need a little energy, I'm like, damn, this has been the shaking. Yeah, the like, shaking. Like, yeah. I mean, if you think about it, if you watch National Geographic, what did animals do? Whatever they get, whatever well, what do boxers do. You yeah, know? What, shake what it out. everybody does. Wrestling, yeah. man. Like yeah. I remember yeah, just yeah, like yeah. moving my energy around. And there's one yeah. in your video. There's 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 a lot of pieces and key pieces to that. And this is what we want to relay here before we wrap up. Exercise can mean so many things, and it's really what it means for you. How do you move your body? How do you move your energy? Um, how do you get unstuck? How are you breathing? How are you? How do you present? build your strength and flexibility 
in a fun way and in yeah. a way you'll do it yeah. like like yes. again yoga and qigong you learn it and then you can do it anytime it's not a big deal like okay so i gotta figure out when i got i, I need to go someplace um yeah, it's just easier it, than all that. It is and like easier. and like you said, put on some music and shake. Jam, man. Jam. Whatever. Jamiroquai is a good one to shake too, too. <laughs> what is Jamiroquai? I don't and the know. Band, they're freaking on point. Right. They're on point. Uh, so anyway, listen. Uh, so Mike, how can how can people get in contact with you, man? Uh, www. Um, Michael Mike, excuse me, Mike Schmidt NJ like New Jersey dot com. I have a nice little website. My course is actually on that website too. I have the Center for Integrative Healing. I also have the Academy for Integrative Healing. Also, the Online Academy for Integrative Healing. Um, also, which is where the uh, on Teachable, which is a platform for online courses. Yeah. And uh, Paul and I will do an online course at one point. I think. Yes, in the think. works. We are And if you guys want to, if you guys want to give us. Your email will send you some videos that we shoot. We haven't uh, done enough of those, but we're going to do some some shoots of our own and, and get some yoga versus qigong and yoga with qigong and you know. Yeah, this is going to be a fresh mashup. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be yeah. a fresh mashup. Yeah, because you know I love working with this guy and doing these types of things. Like, you know, we never know what their result is, but we want to make sure that we get out this end message because people get to hear this and get to understand that their body is a beautiful vessel, man. Like, to move it and to enjoy it and to be present with it, it's a teacher and it'll let us know where we are, what the, what's going on around us. So, uh, I'm Paul Newell. You can reach me at newwellnessguide.com, also at thecorporateshift.com. And also, um, uh, every uh, second Monday of the month, I'm on the MKP Men's Live podcast and um, Facebook Live. Come and have these conversations about masculinity, healthy masculinity in these modern times. So, um, thank you all for paying attention. Thank you all for stopping in and tuning in. And for those that are watching this recorded version, thank you as well. <laughs> Mike, any last minute? Nope. Just give us some input. Let yeah. us know what the next one is. We want to do these about every couple of weeks um, because we like we have a lot of fun, and I get to see yeah. Paul. You know, it's nice. so. I get to see this guy. Yeah. yeah, give us some feedback on what you think about this. What's exercise? What's the people? next? What is yeah? And yeah. what is the next? Uh, what's what's the next next subject? Damn. You know. All right. All right. Take care, everybody. Enjoy the day. It's nice out. Be well. <laughs>